Okay, in this video, we're going to look at this function. It's a function of a complex variable z, f of z equals one over z times z minus one. And we're going to find what's called the Laurent series uh, centered at z equals zero in this annulus here. So let's go ahead and work through it, solution. The first thing we're going to do is uh, rewrite this function in a simpler way. We're going to break this up into two simpler functions. So this is 1 over z, and then here we have z minus 1. And what we can do here is we can use partial fractions. We can write this as a over z plus, and then here we have b over z minus 1. And now we can use uh, the method of partial fractions to find a and b. I'm going to use the cover-up method because it's very easy and quick. So to find a, what you do uh, is you look at what's under a and you cover it up. And you say, okay, what, 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 what do you plug in here? What makes this zero? Well, zero. If I put a zero here, it's bad. So you cover it up and plug in zero. So it'll be negative one. And to find b, you cover up what's under b and say, hey, what makes that 0, 1? So you cover this up and plug in 1. So 1. Um, that's one way to do it. Another way to do, uh, another way to do it um, would be to uh, multiply both sides by z, z minus 1, and then plug in numbers and find a and b. All right, so we have a and b. So our function can be written now as uh, 1. Whoops. 1 over z, z minus 1 is equal to, so a is negative 1, so it's minus 1 over z, plus, and then b is 1, so it's 1 over uh, z minus 1. Now, we know something about uh, z. Uh, the modulus of z is less than 1. It's in this annulus. Um, so our goal here is going to be to use this formula here. If you have the sum, I'll just use uh, x to the n, as n runs from 0 to infinity. This is going to be 1 over 1 minus x, and that's going to be true if x is less than 1, bigger than 0. And x here can be a real number or, or a complex number. So we're going to use this formula. So that means we need to modify this second term. So this is equal to negative 1 over z. I'm going to pull out a negative 1 from the bottom and put it in the front like this. Okay, basically what I did was we had z minus 1, so I pulled out a negative here. And then put the negative and then put it in the front. All right, so now we can uh, invoke uh, this formula here. So this is negative 1 over z minus, and then the sum here uh, starts at 0, 0 to infinity z to the n. And that would be the Laurent series. You can you can write it uh, a better way. This is negative z to the negative 1 minus, and then this would be 1 plus z plus z squared. Okay, so you can write this as negative z to the negative 1, negative 1, negative z, negative z squared, negative dot, dot, dot. Um, you could pull out a negative and write it like this, z to the negative 1 plus 1 plus z plus z squared plus. And then you can write it like this. If you really wanted to, um, you could write it like this. This is the infinite sum as n runs from negative 1 to infinity of z to the n. Right, because z to the zero is going to give you one. So kind of a cool way to write uh, the final answer. But anyways, random problem here. Uh, Laurent series, basically just using partial fractions at the beginning and then using um, you know infinite uh, geometric series. Hopefully you've learned some mathematics. Good luck.